Hello, my name is Ness Tilson, and in this video, I'd like to show how to recuperate library elements from an existing polyboard project. Now, it's important to realize that all polyboard cabinets carry with them a copy of any libraries used to set them up. This makes it easy to design a cabinet on one computer, open it on another computer without losing any data. And it also makes it possible to incorporate library elements from one cabinet into other libraries that have already been set up. And it doesn't matter whether the cabinets are made using the free version or the paid version. This makes for a very convenient way to share library elements between computers and different polyboards, as well as different users. To see how to do this, let's open a new version of Polyboard. In this version of Polyboard, if I look into my libraries, and I look in my materials libraries, for instance, I can see that I've practically got nothing in them. I've only got a piece of plywood in the material libraries, and all my other libraries, like fittings libraries, I've got nothing in them. They're practically all empty. So let's just load up a project which has, in fact, elements in it which have already got specific materials and library elements that have come from another polyboard. Let's open a file here and let's choose a, a project, which is the kitchen project. This is a kitchen project. If we have a look at it in 3D, we see what's got in it. We've got a load of kitchen elements here which have been set up. And if we have a look at one of these elements, for instance, let's take a cabinet and I explode it, we can see that there's lots of hardware on this cabinet. If I click on one of the elements here, we can see that it's also got a material on it. And none of these materials are actually in the libraries of this particular polyboard. And we can see this because if we look at the material, we can see that the material is actually in red. And if I click on one of the elements and I say, let's have a look at the links that this particular element has with the right or the left side, we have links on it which are the cams and the dowels, and they also have a specific rule, but they are actually in red, which means they are specific only to this cabinet and they are not in my actual polyboard libraries. So how do I get these elements into the library? Well, it is in fact very, very simple. I just have to click on one of the elements, and if I click on it, I have at the bottom of the list an element which is called Restore. If I restore here, the element is no longer red, it becomes black, and it has been added to the library. I can do the same thing for the rule, I restore. Let's do it the same for the other elements here, Restore, Restore. Now that all the red elements have become black, and they are now in the general library that is on my hard disk. So if I look in my library now and in my fittings, we have the cam and the dowel, which were in the cabinet, are now saved on my hard disk in these polyboard libraries. So that if I start up another cabinet, a completely new cabinet, and I say that I want to put on a fitting to the left side here, I can actually use the fitting that is now in the library. I click here, fittings. I can put on, for instance, a cam and I can use cam rule with it and the fitting will now appear on my new cabinet. The same is true for everything which is which concerns materials but also methods and sub-methods. Let's look into a library with our sub-method. For instance, if I take the fittings links, we can see that we have here inside our cabinet, we know it's inside our cabinet because the name of the actual method has got a at cabinet name extension to it and the actual style the fittings link sub method has got its particular name before the at sign which means that this is contained within our cabinet and we can see that um, in this particular style which is contained inside our cabinet we have a whole load of hardware and rules S some of them are in red and some of them are in black the black ones we've already restored but the red ones have not yet been restored i can copy this particular sub method by simply going into this button here clicking on this button duplicate and this now duplicates that sub method and let's say this is a new sub method new sub and then this new sub method is now contained all this hardware and these rules. And so this now this new sub method is now part of my sub methods library and I can apply that sub method to a new cabinet if necessary. So let's just click out of this and for instance if I start up a new cabinet now and let's put a door on this cabinet and we can see there's no methods applied to this cabinet. And now I click on sub methods, fitting links, and I use a new sub method. And if I click on OK, this sub method is now applied. And so we're actually now using a copy of the sub method that was contained in our original kitchen model. What's interesting to note is that if I look in the library's fittings, we don't have any hinges in the fittings menu. 
but polyboard has found the fittings even though they're in red in the sub method if I look in the sub method fittings links all these red fittings are not in the libraries but they are still contained within polyboard's sub method here so polyboard is still putting in the hint right hinges even though the hinges are not in the hardware libraries if we want to put them in the hardware libraries we will have to restore the specific hinge to the hardware library by going to for instance here the door is actually highlighted if i look on the left side and i look at it we have a blum hinge and i can restore that blum hinge with a rule which i can also restore and if i click ok and now if i look in my fittings we can see the blum hinge which is here as well as if i look in my rules libraries we can see the rule which goes with the blum hinge here so you can see that it's very easy to use the library restore function to add hardware, rules and methods from other cabinets into your existing libraries. And this is the way I suggest you do it if you are downloading our templates from Wood Designer website and you want to recuperate the libraries that are already in the templates. Just use the restore function and they'll add it to your library on your polyboard so that you can use them in another project. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have found some interesting information. Goodbye.